Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 2. Now, as is usual for me, I've screwed something up. I uh, recorded two parts of Fallout 2 and then realized that I wasn't actually recording. <laughs> so, that's great. So let me just explain what we did. We're uh, here at um, the Mordino family. And as you might notice... Uh, well, not here. But as you might notice... There are some bodies around. Like, you know, bodies cut in half and such. We've already picked stuff up. And uh, yeah, there's big Jesus Mordino, which we've uh, also killed. Because, well, we've decided that uh, we want to clean up all these crime families, except the Wrights, because they're actually the only okay family. They only sell alcohol, they don't do drugs and prostitutes and everything else. Now, this was only the upper floor. We still have the lower floor to uh, take care of. I don't think we can really... We can sleep here. Okay, so that's good. We used up a couple of stim packs, but that's alright. Well, that's alright. Nice. Wait, why did I wait until evening? Okay. It's actually alright. So, now we have the lower level to take care of as well. I'll just save here. Uh, the other thing we also did... Let me just go down there and start the fight. I'm using the phaser and the... There we go. Oh, that's that's too close here. That's not good. And they're also killing the patrons now. <laughs> Let's see, there's a guy there, there's a guy there, a guy there. It's one, two... Yeah, quite a lot of people to kill. So, we gotta be careful. We'll probably run somewhere. I don't know. This can be dangerous. The eyes. Nice! <laughs> 81 hit points. Unlucky for him causes blindness. Yeah, never mind the whole falling into two pieces by being cut apart by a laser pistol. Well, a phaser, sorry. Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, hopefully Sulik is not gonna get killed here. That was my main problem up on the first floor. Or second floor, whatever. Okay, this is the ground floor, so the first floor is probably up there. Oh, that guy took out a knife and then ran away. Mm, gonna take care of these guys quickly. There's more coming in. Everyone has uh, submachine guns, which is not very pretty when they get close. What? Ah, oh, crap, I didn't prepare my... I didn't prepare my hunting rifle. As you can see, we've got lots of loot. We've got submachine guns, and I, I've already given a lot to Solik. Uh, let's put the ammunition. I think it's already loaded, but just in case. There we go. Ah, damn. Oh well. I don't think I can really hit anyone here reliably. Well, maybe. Nice. Nice. Knocking him out. 61 hit points. Yeah, gotta be careful about these guys. Ow, everyone going for Sully. That was, as I said, that was my problem up there. Also, what what uh, other thing we did was go to the rights. I finally figured out how to get all the lovely XP. Uh, <laughs> I love these. 72. Um, I'm just gonna stay here, I think. Actually, I can do another shot, because I need to. Oh, lovely! Bloody hell. This phaser is awesome. Damn it, Solik. Be careful. I gave him some stim packs to use. So hopefully he's gonna do that if he gets hit too much. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I went to the Mordino... Um, sorry, to the Wright family. I figured that... I figured out that you have to talk to... Nice! Bloody hell. 12. Yeah, let's just finish him off. You have to go to the right... Uh, sorry, to uh, the Jules, you know, the drug dealer, and then pay him 100 chips to, for information on each of the families. So we pay them 400 chips. And when you learn about all the families, um, then you get the chance... Oh, that's not very good. Let's see. Okay, I can kill that one. And then, only then, you actually know the political situation in New Reno, so you can, you know, you have a motive for, um, to tell, uh, the right guy. Nice! 36 hit points. Uh, you tell the right guy that basically, you know, the Salvatores wanted to, uh, initiate a war between the right family and the 
Mordino family because the Mordinos are the biggest suppliers of jets and drugs. So, you know, if they weaken them both, they would basically... Oh, nice. They would basically have a much easier time dealing with both families and be in control of New Reno, almost. So we got 500 XP for fingering um, Renesco. I know that sounds bad, but we just pointed at him. You know, he's, he's the one that did it. And he's still not dead, damn it. <clears throat> and then we also got 2,000 XP. These guys have machine, big machine guns, so we gotta be careful. Um, Tommy guns, I think. And then we got 2,000 XP. Sorry, I'm just all over the place. 2,000 XP for um, for actually figuring out the correct reason. Nice! 36 hit points, and we also blinded him, which is perfect. I need one more action point so I can use the phaser as well. That would be lovely. Okay, these guys are all doing this at range, which is really not their forte, but it is mine. So we're gonna finish this guy off. I think he's... no? Oh yes, we did. 76 hit points, this is brilliant. And Solik is just standing there. Now, I could run into here and have them all come to me, but I think I prefer it like this, at range with the hunting rifle. Oh, that guy... Oops. no, 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 no. No, you don't. You are going down, my friend. Solik is not much of... Uh, much help right now. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, for the sole reason that I put him on stay close to me because I hated the fact that he ran all the way into you know he waded into enemies and then they simply burst him down with uh, burst him down they simply mowed him down with burst fire and that was just really annoying I missed damn it okay these guys are out of ammunition <laughs> lovely so yeah this is what you usually do in all my playthroughs. Uh, I just kill all these crime families. This guy is just not dying, come on! How did I miss that? Bloody hell. Yeah, I uh, clear out all the crime families because, you know, if you want to play a good character and if you want something good for for uh, Reno, then, you know, you probably need to do this. Finally, jeez. You don't, you don't see it, but you can hear it, that thunk. That means that he just fell down flat and uh, he's dead finally Solik doing something and Solik is crazy look at this with a combat knife he's ow he's uh, knocking these guys down like a champ it's ridiculous all right you just made a mistake 36 nice blindness bloody hell where's the other bouncer nice do you go for it Solik oh this guy's coming as well one of the uh Ah, oh, this guy's blind. This guy can't do anything. This guy, I think, is at the bar, otherwise? Let's see. Yep, he has a 40... F oh, no. Huh. Surveying the casino. I guess he's just gonna attack us with his fists. Well, gotta be careful here. You don't want to attack the civilians. You know, it doesn't tell you. This one is a civilian, for example. You need to look at the outline. Because you can't really... Oh. I oh, I can actually... Check them out through this wall, but I think this is an exception. Oh, well, anyway, just uh, don't kill, you know, the ones that are civilians, obviously. How much does this guy have? 14. He's gonna die right now, so let's just go for this guy. He didn't die. 20. Okay. Well, he's gonna die now, that's for sure. <laughs> uh... So yeah, we got a nice parcel of XP from uh, the Wright family. Is this guy... Damn, see, that's the problem. You can't really check them out. I, th I think that's an enemy, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, yeah, we got a nice parcel of XP. 4,000 plus the 500 for... Uh, bloody hell. Oh, that was a pit boss. And we leveled, you know, from... Oh, this is actually out. We leveled from that, and we put our stuff into... Oh, nice. 52. We put our stuff into unarmed, our skills. Because unarmed, uh, we had just enough skill points to have it now at 101%. And that's going to come in rather handy in San Francisco. <clears throat> There's another bouncer here, and there's some more here. There's a one guy here, one guy here, 
And this bouncer, right? and I think that's it then. Oh, and this guy here. So let's see. Oh, we already killed the uh, little Jesus. There we go. So killing off the entire family and such. Always nice. Come on then. Not gonna attack us. Okay. I think they'll come over to us. No? That's fine with me. And also the uh, the right guy. <coughs> Excuse me. The right guy after completing his quest, you know, for the dead kid. Uh, he gave us the Sierra Ar uh, Sierra. What the hell am I talking about? Sierra Army Depot quest. And he basically wants us to go there, enter the Sierra Army Depot. Well, find a way in, that's what he wants. And um, he actually told us that uh, he has sent some people. Oh, we're already overloaded, bloody hell. <clears throat> he has sent some people over there already and they all died. Um, because of some super turret defenses. So we're gonna have our, you know, war cut out. Uh, cut out. Ooh. That's actually a special, let's see. This wicked looking blade once belonged to little Jesus Mordino. It has numerous nicks and cuts along its surface, but its edge is razor sharp. On its handle is carved little Jesus. So that's probably an upgraded combat knife, which is excellent, and I'm gonna take it. However, I need more space. Come on. Ah! I'm clicking too quickly. You be? Still have people to kill, of course. And it's just so satisfying killing people in this game. It's so satisfying. Wait, this is not the way. Uh, can you carry that much? Apparently, you can. That's nice. I think I'm gonna keep that um, grenade for now. How much carry weight do you have? You, you can still carry stuff? Let me check that. <clears throat> it's annoying that you have to go to combat control to see it. Yeah, see, that's already 7 over. I hate the fact that the game doesn't tell you that. You know, it's just, oh, Solik is overloaded, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's all. That's a 5, 6, 7. There we go. Much better. All right. That's it for now. Let's uh, take the combat knife. Also, this would be really nice. I think I can sell it for... Oh, of course, we've got uh, space now. Six throwing knives. Bloody hell, what a crazy little guy this guy was. And, of course, we're already overloaded. Because, you know, why not? Uh, I can't wait to get power armor. It's gonna be great. I'll be able to carry more stuff because power armor... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, I can just do it. How much is this? Three. Now I want something for two. One, two, there we go. There. Now use this little Jesus combat knife. <coughs> use best weapon. There we go. Excellent. A little better. Not bad. Because he's rocking with it. He is rocking with it. Let me just save. I am recording, right? <laughs> that sucks. That happened to me quite a few times in the past. And it's it's really painful if you can uh, understand where I'm coming from. I mean, you know, you spend time and effort into, into making these LPs. You try to make them interesting, you know. I know I babble a lot of the time. Uh, a lot of the times I'm just, you know, all over the place. Um, but, you know, I try. And then I find out at the end that, well, I've basically wasted my time. Oh, hello. Oh, crap, this guy as well. That's... that's not gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. 77 hit points. Bloody hell. Let's get away, because I think the other guys are gonna, gonna come over now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh... I gotta be careful. Yeah, and then you realize that you haven't actually been recording. I mean, that is horrible. Huh? So you're looking to party with some jet friend? You come to the right place. For you, everything's unspecial. What have you got? Okay, so I thought this guy was one of the goons, but... Apparently not. Wow, that is pathetic. Three jet canisters and 30 gold. Or, well... Wow. That was, uh, bad. Huh? Swaying slightly. 
You wanna fly with me? You're gonna box with me, huh? Come on, I'll be your slave if you can give me some jet. <laughs> All right, let's see. Always take jet, as I said, it doesn't weigh anything. I wonder if I should just kill this guy, he's a drug dealer. Let's see if that decreases our karma. Actually, let's go over here. This is a little too close for the hunting rifle, I think. Uh, not really. And that didn't kill him. 22. <clears throat> well, he's gonna finish it. Solig then. <laughs> 15 hit points with a normal hit. That's not even a crit. That's ridiculously awesome. Ah, bloody hell. I love that. You gain five har karma. Excellent. However, it seems that the civilians... No, okay. Okay, so yeah. These drug dealers are... Gonna die as well. They gonna die! Look at all this mess. Now these guys are gonna attack us as well. Why is this guy not attacking me? One of Mordino's men. Well, I'm not gonna wait for him to attack me. I'm just gonna do it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 32 hit points and we got that special critical where, where it's an instant kill. He, I love that animation. It's it's not actually sort of animation. It's, he just drops them. <laughs> Dead. <clears throat> Come on, bouncer. I'm waiting for you to enter my line of sight and I can uh, give you a nice little present. Come on. Prostitute uses jet. Yes, because, you know. That was brilliant. <laughs> I'm overloaded, right? Yeah, of course I am. What else would I be? Not overloaded? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really heart-wrenching when, uh, when you find out that you actually were not recording. And you know what was the sunburned man with a lot of stubble and flaking skin? He's glancing around nervously. Who the hell is this guy? Last fight was something of an epic hombre, and he he gives me praise and then uh, shoots me in the head with a burst. You're gonna die, boy! 58 hit points. And goodbye, bastard. <laughs> oh, so morbid, but so awesome. Hey, mercy. Well, we are certainly low on HP, and... Oh, and that bouncer outside may very well kill us because uh, when we get close to him, he'll just use, he'll initiate Comet and uh, do a nice little burst on us. However, we can try to avoid that by initiating Comet first. You see a pimp. Let's see. I probably can't hit him from here. Nope. Let's save the game just in case. <clears throat> And then let's see from where we can hit him. Oh wait, we haven't looted this guy yet. He's got a Tommy gun. Uh, <clears throat> however, I can't really pick much else up. 45 caliber Tommy gun, really? <clears throat> Isn't that a bit extreme? I can't even pick that up. Oh, for Pete's sake. Maybe I'll come back later. I have so much stuff now anyway. Oh, excellent, we can hit him from here. It's brilliant. Nice. Only one shot. That's not good enough. Oh, he's gonna come in now and he's gonna... Oh, he's not gonna go for a shot, apparently. So let's go for our phaser. Trusty phaser. Oh, well, wait! I wanted to see how that looks like. I've never seen a bouncer cut in half before. What? Well, critically hit in the head with no armor defenses. Right, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> that was brilliant. Uh, let's see. Bloody hell. <laughs> that looked awesome. Right, well, we're, the Mordino family is no more. So that's good. Um, we've already killed the entire Salvatore family, of course. So let's go, let's go ask Jules if he knows anything about this now. Hey, 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 welcome back. What is it you need from Jules, my friend? Uh, nothing. Thanks, you, Jules. Okay. Well, we definitely need health. But, uh, there's there's the Bishop family as well in the Shark Club. However, we need to get our health up first. Definitely. And also, you know what? Let's go to the car. 
And uh, let's go to Broken Hills. We need to repair that mine so we can get Marcus and everything. Look at all this stuff in the trunk. I really, really hope that the car trunk is not going to get bugged. Because that is horrible when it happens. You lose everything in that trunk. It's like moving. You know, except worse. Alright, just uh, take this away for now. Alright, let's go. We'll get our health up as well, slightly, when we travel. Not much, because the car is very fast. And, oh, uh, Pete's sake, just don't... Oh, uh, it's just dogs. Damn, see, I knew I was gonna need my phaser. I just knew it. <sighs> and these guys might actually be rather dangerous now. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it got cut in half. <laughs> uh, knocking the pooch to the ground. Yeah, and cutting him in half. Okay, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> I will see you next time. See if we survive this. Bloody hell. Bye-bye. <laughs>